All right, welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa and um on this episode, we have a special guest with us. Our guest is a Nigerian gospel artist with a higher national diploma in business administration and management from the Federal Polytechnic, Adoikiti. In 2009, she released her first album, Is Praise, and later came out with the second album, Who You Are. She is not just a gospel artist, she is a businesswoman and owns two beauty outfits in Nigeria. The singer with an amazing voice has won several awards, including, including Praise Tech Awards UK 2012, AGMA Awards, UK 2013, Crystal Awards Nigeria 2013, and Mega Awards Nigeria 2014, where she got awards in two categories and was announced as the Mega Artist of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, make welcome the beautiful, phenomenal Funke Akio Kun. <laughs> Welcome to the thank show. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm very well, thank you. Please don't tell me it's the grace of God, but how do you maintain I mean, your good looks? You look so Because <laughs> I know okay. the grace of God. Grace of God. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about music. How and when did you start music? Music, yeah, from when I was in primary school. Wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was um, singing in school, and um, when I grew up, I joined the choir. Mm. And uh, officially, I started in 2009. That's when I released my first album. Yeah. All right. So where's the best place for you to be when you want to create music? See your room? You go near the sea? Or what do you do? No, no. Anywhere. I can write on the plane. I can, it can be when I'm sleeping. Anywhere, anytime. Okay. Most times, um, the songs just come. You know, inspiration from God. Yeah, yeah. It drops, and then sometimes it comes. You know, based on what is going on around me. All right. So before yeah. we even go on, for the, for those who don't know who you really are and how powerful you are, um, we have a special video that is going to shock you personally as well. <laughs> so we were at an event yesterday, and you gave a very brilliant performance. So we'll be showing you that video in a short bit. Let's do this. Enjoy the Igala Vedre. I see you are the Ojo Echecha. Yeah. You are the Ojo Chenemi. The Ojo Oyako Papa Yomayo. Yes. Ijua Kela. Ojo Akbabala. And then I go to Igbo land. I call you the Obaranki Tiopu Juronoya. The Ojela Mo. The Eze Nonelu. Obarayana Kunala. The Olori Helore. Odobua Kataka, O Pemiri Nebogu, Diwa Nisimbe, Isindu, Ozondu, and then I go to Ijebu land. I call you the Efukwele German Ekoribo, Obiriki Ti Adiko Yoru Buda, Okonano, Okonemi, Okonshoshotiti Odua Yerayi, Uwae Nafuwe, Uwa Shewe, Rokwa Korope, Rore Mure Rele, and then I go to Ijeshaland. I say you are the about to colori obiria yoko mi wogo gwa yebi elenga. And then I go to Ifo in Ondo State. And I speak in my own dialect. I call you the over ye no ke ye no do. Atsori ene ma sebo ashe. Oba yo ya pa. Oba yo ya ch. You can kill and you can make her life. Oba yo be esho wopo yo me pa dano. All right, welcome back, and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We just brought you that powerful rendition of what song is that? What? It's a, um, in the album where I recorded it. It's called "Who You Are." Who that you means are. who God is. So in it, I say the names of God in different languages. Hmm. Mm, interesting. Okay. So what motivated that? Actually, um, I love to learn languages mm. and then I learn I mean I love to worship God so when I was little I started from when I was little I started using you know what I have to do what I want to do so that's the gift God gave me mm. I started using it to learn to worship him so mm. wherever I go to I learn how you know they praise God in that language mm. and then I use it for my personal worship so when I started making music I decided to, you know, 
do that. Develop. So, so it's safe for me to assume to say that you've been you've been in, in church a Christian all your life, growing up all your life. Yes. Now you're into gospel music and say gospel music is good news. Um, would you embrace and appreciate any other kind of music that is not gospel music, but mm. it's good news? Well, I have, I mean, songs that are not necessarily gospel music, okay. that um, the lyrics are not offensive, okay. and they're nice. You know, I don't have anything against that. So, are we ever going to expect anything like that from you? That it's not gospel, but it's, it's good news. Well, I made, I issues. just made a music. Okay. It is not gospel per se. I, I received that music in 2017 when I lost my mom. Mm. So to celebrate mothers oh, great. and the sacrifices, you know, they and made. strength of our mothers, I decided to put that song out there. So it's called "My Mother, My Angel." Mm. You know? I mean, it's not gospel, gospel, gospel yeah. but it's just saying what our mothers do mm. and, you know, celebrating our mothers. Awesome. So I just released that 1st of November this year. Okay. I, I do ask because at the end of the day, um, gospel music seems to cater for some segment of people, those Christian churchgoers, you know, but many times I, I do wonder if, you know, this same gospelers could actually reach out to, to put out music out there that can talk to everybody in different spheres, love, family, finances, and all of that. So yeah, that's, saying that's that I also, you. in 2011, I uh, released an all-star music, which says, love is what we need. Awesome. Mm. And um, I featured like 17 gospel artists yeah. in the audio, but in the video, I featured like 55 people from the entertainment industry. Wow. Yeah. So amongst- All gospel? No, mm -hmm. Muslims, Christians from different tribes, because the message is, it no, doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter what you believe in, we can all live together in peace and in unity. All right. okay. So I don't have to ask you the next question. You've, 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 you've answered, answered it already. already. So yeah, you, but I mean, my what God so would love great. about me yeah. is reaching out to, I mean, God says, love your neighbor as yourself. He didn't say, mm. love your Christian neighbor as yourself. Right. Yeah. Your neighbor. Everybody is one before God. That's it. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, as a mother, a businesswoman, and then a musician, how do you juggle Job all those man. things together? Again, I will say it is the grace, grace of, of God, God because it is not easy. I have four boys, mm. and um, I mean, to the glory of God, um, two of them are graduates now. Mm. The third one is in the third year in college, and um, the fourth one is in middle school. And I mean, to raise four boys, mm. being a businesswoman, being a music, I mean, minister, going around to minister, yeah. to do, you go for rehearsals, you, it takes, I mean, the grace of God and planning. So what I do is I plan. I look at the things that I need to do and I plan myself. I prioritize. Yeah, I prioritize. Yeah. All right, okay. is there any new project coming out soon? What should we watch out for? Uh, well, yes, I intend um, to have a music concert mm -hmm. in 2020. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so, and I already have some songs, some singles that I've done, that I've released, and I intend to make more, and later make it into an album. Okay. So we're going to have that in 20. So uh, I have been privileged to listen to a lot of your songs and... Um, oh, really? I, yes. Oh, wow. Yes, I, yes, I didn't, I didn't yes. know you do that. I, I do my research. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do your research, not that you listen to gospel I, I, Yeah, I do listen to gospel mm. music, so... Oh, you do? Mm. Guys, when on Sundays? Guys, can we focus on... <laughs> <laughs> am I the one being interviewed here? Can we focus on our guests, please? <laughs> oh, all right, so... Um, your sound is very original, if you ask me. It's not the recycled gospel music that you see them making the same sound over and over again, but it's really original, it's, it's decent. So I would like to know, who are some of your musical influences? Um, the, you know, if you listen, you said you've been listening to my songs, I'm sure you, you notice that you have different styles of mm -hmm. music. So for like the worship aspect, for example, I'll say somebody like Bolare, mm. Mm. because I remember that because of this, who you are, I used to listen to her a lot to the point I could sing every word of some of her tracks where she was worshiping God. And in the days of cassette, I'll put it in my car and I'll play 
you know, side A, side B, I keep playing it. So that helped me, you know, to, to learn more of the worship of God. So somebody like Bolare for that worship aspect. And the high life part, somebody like Ibitai or JJ. Uh, her music. We love Ibitai or JJ. I love her more. <laughs> nobody can love Ibitai like me. She's yeah. been on the show as well. I know. Mm. You know, I, I know, I'm sure you know. You I know, know, yes, you know, yeah. definitely. So, her music actually brought me close mm. to Ibitaya because I listened to her and I loved, loved, loved what I heard, mm. you know. And, you know, she's very original, very creative. So, that Ibitaya inspires me also in the high life aspect. Mm. Nathaniel Bassi is somebody I listen to a lot. And then Shelly Caesar. Mm. Yeah, I listen to Shelly Caesar a lot also. So different styles of music, different people inspire me too. Yeah. All right. So um, basically, a lot of people would say that gospel music doesn't have a large or a big market in Nigeria. Like, how much would you say gospel artists are making? I know you might want to look at it that, oh, it's not about the money, it's about spreading the message. But how lucrative is doing gospel music is for you? It's not lucrative at all. But again, I will still go back to what you said. For me, the, mu the gospel music industry is different from the gospel music ministry. Mm. So if you go into the gospel industry, you may be disappointed. Mm. But if you are... Can you say that again? The gospel music, music industry, industry is, is different from the gospel music ministry. What? If it is a ministry for you, you don't care. Even if you don't get anything, you just keep, you know, something just keeps, you know, pushing you. You just want to do more. You want to do more. Mm. But if it's, if you go into it because you want to do business, you might not get what you want. Mm. And you will be disappointed. Mm. And you might be discouraged. You end up, you know, doing something else. Mm. So it has to be your calling. You have to be called to do it, to be able, you know, to stay in it. Nice. So are, are you by chance then saying that the, the gospel music industry is not structured in such a way to make, make artists money. and make money out of it, to live well and fit themselves and pay their bills? Yes, it is in okay. some settings. Okay. Mm -hmm. In some settings, it is not. Example of settings that it is not. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> I would not want win. to. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But, you know, some people actually do things the right way. Mm. You understand? But some, I mean, they don't. For me, for example, I just do my thing. What I need to do, I don't wait for anything. I don't wait for the record label. I don't wait for anything. If I want to do something, if I'm inspired to do it, I do it. So how do you fund your project? Like you said, you're going to be I having fund a concert my project, in 2020. Project myself. Yourself. Myself. Which myself. You're not from the music money, from myself. your business money. Myself. OK. And how's okay. that been for you? Awesome. Awesome. Awesome God, God and awesome testimonies. Oh. Yeah. Awesome testimonies. I'm actually sitting here, I mean, by the grace of God. Yeah. I had a very, very, very terrible accident. Yeah. I mean, the pictures, I mean, on social media, yeah. that when you see the car, nobody will believe that anybody came out of it. Yeah. And I was actually gone. Up till today, I don't have any memory of what happened that day. Yeah. I mean, I don't live here, I live in the US, I live in Houston, Texas, so this happened in Houston, Texas. So, I mean, the person driving the car had to be taken in a helicopter from that point, and the car was a total wreck. They had to cut the car open before they could take the three of us out because we were all unconscious, we were all gone, we were trapped in the car, yeah. and you know, the lady driving, my friend, spent 72 days in the hospital before she could walk. Wow. So, and three of us music ministers. And up till today, when I see the picture, or when I think of the things that happened, sometimes I shed tears because, you know, you just see this is the hand of God. Mm. And you know, and sometimes I, I the only thing I get from that is, you know, God telling me, just go ahead and with you all the way. You know, that can only be God. And I see that as, you know, a testimony. And I always relate it to a song that my friend Freke Umar wrote that says, 
I cannot call on God's name and end up in shame. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. It pays to serve God. It does. Okay, so um, we're about to wrap up the show, but no artist comes on this table without singing to mm -hmm. us. Or, so you just decide what song you want right now and then give us a and quick rendition of that. And you have to sing in like that. different dialects, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think I really like that. Okay, so let's do the different dialects in Nigeria. Yeah. In my first album, I did a song. I did some medley. Aka Kaya. Aka Jehovah Nememma. Always be a can a rugari de bem no. Easy you can do can a digi atata. Aka Kaya. Aka Jehovah Nememma. I can do ke book for you. Anna Makpaniko. I can do ke book for you. Mfo wawa. So the first one is Ibo. The second one is Akwa Ibom. And the Yoruba says, E du mare ba mi she o. Oba olu bala. Bobo ishoro mi. Jesu tikola. And so, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm Yoruba. I'm Yoruba. Edo. Edo. Where? What part of Edo? Ishan. But there are Okay, Obulu. Obulu. Oh, there, so in um, Ishan, um, where you want to say, where are you going to? You say Jewishan. 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 Yeah. 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 So and then you call God, Agbogidi, or Sanobwa Dokbolo. In Edo states, Benin. in in Benin, Benin yeah. in Benin, you say it's Osalobwa Negogo. You say it's Osa Nomagiwadi. That means that is the God that prevents the foundation from falling. Yeah. You say it's Osa No Letting. It's the God that gives us strength. They are you know your real Osalobwa Negogo. And wow. trust it. Okay, okay. So this is how we're going to wrap up the show. I hope you've left this particular episode blessed. And thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, goes to my co-anchors, Ewaritu and Benny Ak, for their intelligent contributions. And, of course, our studio guest, Funke Akionkun, the woman who praises God in different languages. The Entire production team, I am a fellow Al Shukai. Saying peace and love.